Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Now we're talking. That is perfect. So back to having a 50% chance of uh, summoning uh, summoning um, strengthened skeletons. Do I know how summoning quality works? Yep. It's a percent chance of summoning a an enhanced version of a skeleton. So a skeleton warrior, skeleton uh, tank, I think. Uh, I can't actually remember what it was called. Ooh, yeah, we finally got some swamps. Okay. Um, I kind of want to hold on to those. <laughs> well, I, I guess I could put places down. Um... do really need to get some actual, like, towns nearby. So this is a good start. Okay. Death is about to happen to us. Possibly. Maybe not. I, I am losing a decent amount of, of health, and I do think I just used up a, a, a potion. But uh, we have fed... The blood grove sufficiently, it seems. And a battlefield as well. Wow. Okay, well, if I place this here, it won't be able to go out there because that's where a town is going to be. If I place it here, it will be able to head out there. But I kind of want to cause these two um, be susceptible to ghosting. Hmm. Actually, no, we'll pl place it there. And we'll place down a cemetery. Trying to spread them out a bit. Make sure it doesn't get too crazy. Alright. Let's have a look at what we just got. Max skeletons plus one. I mean, that's lovely, but... Not what we need right now. I mean, I need max skeletons plus two. Uh, defense plus two. Regen. Skeleton level. Not really high in that. Well, I'd lose 0.2 of a level, but I'd gain evasion and defense. Fence. Actually, yeah, that is kind of good. Yeah. Do I know? Uh, oh, sorry, I'm reading that question again. Okay, let's see how this one goes. 96 damage. My skeletons are doing 32. You would literally crush one of them. Like, absolutely. Good. Oh, thank goodness. Got a tank. It is, uh, it's called Skeleton Guard. There we go. Right. Got a bit of good stuff out of that. Next up, don't want the goblin camp there anymore. Goodbye. Just straight up, don't want to have to deal with goblins. Alright, what did we just get out of this? Uh, no. Uh, skeleton level. Very tempting. That's just straight up a, a just a flat upgrade. Tunk. There we go. Seven point two one now on the level. And a decent amount of regeneration as well. Summon quality is down again, which is a shame, but Some quality could go back up, but no, I prefer the level. Uh, we'll pop this there. 
Curve out some more rocks. There we go. I think this is building out decently well. I do worry a little bit about our, our overall HP, but uh, I, I need to pull my uh, enemy's overall HP down faster. Summon quality, no. Uh, evasion, summon quality, no. Want level, ooh, well, no. Lose too much. Wouldn't mind getting some meadow or something, maybe along the middle here. Sadly, that would affect it, though. Uh, down here wouldn't be too bad if I can get some meadows along behind it. Where we go? Hmm. I still don't know whether your skeletons naturally level up after each loop, or... Is it strictly affected by the skeleton level? Level is better than quality, I'd say, but more important than anything sans uh, more skeletons. Yeah, I, I think you're probably right there. I think the level up symbol should be more prominent so you don't ignore when you have one. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know how long I've had that there. 20% uh, chance to exceed the number of skeletons and summon two of them. Yes. Get that meadow down. Now that is looking nice, and I am willing to drop 13 evasion for it. That's 1.5 more levels there. 97 to 46. I do less damage, but uh, have more health by a little bit. Some quality, some level, max scale. Wow. Okay, now that is really good. I would drop level hard. I drop practically one level, but I'd get an extra skeleton and quality on top. I think we're going to go for it. It's five max skeletons now. Some more mountains. Couple of mountains there. And let's get a battlefield down. Uh, sure. Could have one here, honestly. It wouldn't be much of an issue. Um. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Mosquitoes doing damage. Okay, so poisonous gas, regeneration and vampirism cause damage instead of healing, which is a shame because I do regenerate. Oh, actually, I don't anymore. Interesting. Though, if it ticks over to daytime, I'll take a bunch of, of damage, I think. I think that will still count. Could be wrong, but... That's ten. No, I'm not going to drop two levels of my skeletons just to have higher quality. I've got plenty high quality at this point. That will do. Doing a lot of damage to me, though. Badly needed my skeletons to take care of that. Wow, that that got a little bit out of hand. Dear Lord. Uh, I think I'm going to hold off on placing down anything more right now. I really need to get some towns. Or villages, rather. Right. 
Attack speed regen evasion. No. Good night, Nuria. Thanks for dropping by. Yeah, I, th I ultimately I'm waiting on getting a oh, uh, a a village to go in one slot, and probably a village to go in the second as well. Then I'll fill it out with some off the road buildings. Straight up better there. Let's have a look at you. 59 damage. Not bad. Good night. Regen bad. The regen, you know, it's it's going to hit me, but it's just the way that that's going to be. Hopefully I can just tank it. There we go, finally. Really want this to be there, sadly. So that is where I'm going to put it, but oh well. The alternative is to have loads of oblivions. If I get loads of oblivions and I can achieve the same effect as having this whole area built up. The main thing now, though, is that we can start accepting quests. That's just better, in my opinion. Uh, it actually, it's, it's the loss of the max skeletons which is the problem. That's the only big problem there. Uh, the books don't the, the the level ten book didn't seem particularly good to me. My level nine is giving me six point four nine skeleton levels. It's a bit of a big. Uh, um, draw for me right now. Uh, oh, new piece of uh, equipment. Um, sure. Let's get through that area as fast as we can. Ooh, now we're talking. Extra level there. to have well there's an issue here and that if I place this here I'm also going to be speeding up the production well you know what that I don't think that matters too much I was worried about this the multiplication effect on this grove but I want to have meadows in the in the back there
Regen summon quality, not amazing. That is that is such a bad book compared to the ones I've, I've got already. Bad. You're a bit of an issue. The town right there would be fine, though. Um, yeah, we'll see. We'll see how it goes when we get around. I kind of feel like it's getting important for us to get uh, additional um, attack speed, though. Really, really am starting to feel that. I'm going to hold on to all of my cards. I don't want to make the landscape too much more dangerous for me. Skeleton level, skeleton quality, nothing amazing. That hurt. Twice. Asian 61. Okay, you got a town. Good, 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 good. Dropping a town here will get rid of the goblin threat. And I think I would like that. And I've developed a bandit threat. I think I would like to get rid of that. The goblins, I'm, I'm happy enough to just leave Sappy. And another town. Oh, I approve. I approve quite a lot. I'm thinking... Pop down a... Yeah, I think I have the, have the town there and I am going to just straight up change this one over. Treasury is nice. Not sure it's strictly useful to me right now, though. There we go. What? Did we just summon a skeletal mage? Did I just summon a skeletal mage? Is that indeed what just happened? Because that looked bloody awesome. Uh, Counterattack seems like a decent one. After the hero receives direct damage, all skeletons have a 15% chance to immediately perform a counterattack. Or prepara preparation for a ceremony. Uh, that one doesn't sound great. The upgraded version of the archer. Okay. This game is gorgeous and such a distinctive style. Yeah, it has a very dark fantasy style. Do we go for counter-attack or second thoughts and get a, a re-spin? I'm thinking counter-attack. We've got a lot of skeletons at this point. Five skeletons, potential. And technically... Six. If all of them decided to counterattack, that would be kind of ruinous to whatever we uh, we were attacking. No. 
I think right now we basically just coast until we get amazing gear. Just keep upgrading our gear, basically, as we go. Or until we've got a bunch of Oblivions. A little bit concerned about this fight, I'll be honest. Okay. That one's down. Good. All right, that was actually... <laughs> the forest is, is ready again. Even though we just killed what it made last time. Nope. Nope. Skeleton level. Good. Attacks we good. Regen good. Skeleton level again. Good. Yes. Absolutely. Skeleton, le uh, skeleton level now 9.66. And we've got 24% faster attack speed. Which means we summon the skeletons 24% faster. Now, we occupy these three tiles. I need to occupy these ones or have enough Oblivions that I can just wipe them out. Is uh, where I'm at right now. Unlikely that these can possibly compare. Another Flash Golem. Do 69 damage here. 86 Full uh, health, though that golem hits like a truck full of smaller trucks. We definitely need to get that damage going down. Wow! I approve. Uh. Placing a battlefield is kind of good, though. I'm not going to lie, it's kind of good. If, for example, I place the battlefield here. Or I could place a battlefield here, frankly. And that would help reduce the amount of room that the uh, boss is going to have. This run is surprising me. Got two beacons that I would actually kind of like to use, but sadly. Dare not. Kind of tempted, though, for that evasion. I dropped my regen per second quite significantly, but I sort of feel that that's okay. The 13% evasion on me. Hello, Mel. Hello, William. How are you both doing? Yeah, I could drop the crystals around the camp, actually. Yeah, that's a good point. Ooh. Now, ooh, I would lose one max skeleton, though. That That's the only problem there. That's kind of tempting. I am watching my boss, Mita. Thanks, my wife's biggest fan. Just because I don't mention it doesn't mean I'm not uh, not paying attention to it. I'm not giving you a complete running commentary of my thought process. Ooh, no. Not over the attack speed. Now, some of these, though. <sighs> no, it's the lack of the max skeleton really there that, that, that scuppers that. Now, these being in play is kind of important, but I think we can just wait to build up to that. 
If I could just fill out, like, all of this side in those kinds of uh, desert tiles, it would actually be amazing, but... Did I look at Space Engineers? Yeah, I've, I've, uh, I've played through the tutorial on Space Engineers a few times. Now we're talking. I think we'll lose the 26 quality for that. Yes. 10.74 on the uh, skeleton level now. Let's have a look at you. 56 damage on my basic skeletons. And 118 health. It's kind of scary. 76 damage on my skeleton warriors with 94 health. My basic have more health, but much less damage. My warriors have more damage, or actually comparable damage, but much less health. Bit of a shame. I'm hopeful that the vampire village will give me some quite decent... Um, oh, oh, thank you. Will offer me some very decent uh, quests towards... Wow, we actually really chomped through that. Increases damage done to boss by 4%. Ooh. It's a shame we don't have it equipped right now, but, you know, ooh. Uh. No, not for two levels. Lovely, but not for two levels. The DLC called Wasteland. I have not seen that. I must confess, I may well need to check that out. The Humble Slime has 111 hit points now. That's kind of frightening. Skeletons plus one, but what we need are levels. Thankfully, again, in melee, they're really not particularly dangerous. I need to keep that max skeleton. Well, even if, if this amulet had max skeletons, I wouldn't switch it out because I would have zero chance of uh, summoning better skeletons then. Max skeletons plus one. Max skeletons plus one. Regen, evasion, defense. Hmm. I have to lose a level for it though. Skeleton level is increased. <sighs> what do you feel, chat? Do you think skeleton level is better than skeleton quality? A whole level of it. My necro runs are just dead at this high of a loop, usually. How can you survive this? Uh, good good luck on, on our equipment, I guess. Level is better, I think. I'm only getting all five out on big fights. That is true. That is true. The boss is going to be a big fight, though. That's the problem.
Yeah, this is a boss run, so I'm going to keep the max skeletons on there. I think that's ultimately going to be more useful for me. Uh, nothing there that I want. Nothing there that I, that I want. You're getting so much equipment, though. Now that I'm not doing anything with the uh, terrain cards, I'm just generating so much. Scaly level evasion, nothing really particularly uh, useful there. Eight loops necro run, and I only ever received one item with plus max skeletons. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it, there is a big bit of RNG in this. If you don't get the right equipment, then it's just not going to work out. Just have to keep trying until you do. Oh, we've got two oblivions now. We might be able to hit the boss. We might actually be able to hit the boss. Hmm. Two oblivions will... They'll, uh, actually, there'll be four tiles that it could place in. That can reduce it to three. That would reduce it further, but I can't ease no, I need I need to wait a little bit longer. Cause each one gives five percent. It can place its um palace on a um road tile as well. Unfortunately. I could roll with a swamp on the road tile, though. I could definitely... Oh, a grove. That was effectively what I was looking for. Um, if I put a grove there... Two oblivions... And that leaves one tile. Though, if I put a, a meadow here, two oblivions will take out the rest of, of uh, everything. No point in placing down a battlefield. No, I, I wanted to make sure that I actually had something worth placing. So, this is the way we're doing it. Pomp. We are then going to place down... I think a swamp. Well, actually... Without a vamp nearby, it's not going to really do much good. I guess I could just place a grove. Grove is fine. I could also put ruins, but I don't want to risk the possibility that I I cross that border just as the day ticks and it spawns a new worm here. So, we'll place this there. The hut. Okay, Tilly, I'll let you on a second, sweetie. Uh, place this about here, I think. Ha! Well, that actually solves part of our problem. In a way. Um. <laughs> I can't believe that just happened. That was crazy lucky. I suppose then I could place this here. Bandits were useful for once, yeah. Let's continue to place this out. There we go, and I think with this... Oh. Why is the boss not arrived? Hmm. There we go. Okay. And with that... Pop! 
Furthermore, I'm not even going to let the bandits stay. <laughs> Take that, bandits. You were useful for all of a brief second. Right. I've got to let Tilly out. I'll be right back, and then we'll get to the boss. <laughs> 